Hey, I recently posted a video about uh, why or no, uh, my opinion on should you buy a Mini 14. Well, if you do, or if you have one, this is something I think you should mandatorily do to save that gun to keep it lasting longer. Um, looking at the design and then looking online, there are several companies that sell a buffer for the system, and I just bought one. I'm not going to advertise who it is or anything like that because they're all pretty much the same. I've already got the trigger assembly part, and by YouTube, I am not modifying this gun. I am just showing an improvement. The gun functions the same. There's no magazine. There's no ammunition. Got your Mini 14. You take your Mini 14 out of the stock right here. As you can see, is a piece of blue plastic. It surrounds the op rod. When I release the bolt to go forward, you can see it better. Right here. Now, if you look on this op rod, do you see that little black spot? I have fired a total of 42 rounds with this buffer in it. Let me see. No? Yeah, that's right. 30, 10, and 2. That's 42 rounds, and it's hitting this buffer because when you fire it, it comes back. If it doesn't hit this buffer, it hits part of the receiver. Now on the newer Mini 14s, I believe they replaced this part of the receiver with a removable replaceable piece. But in the older ones, like mine, that piece is part of the receiver. If it bends, that's the receiver. And the manufacturer of this particular buffer says, this is only going to last for about 2,000 rounds in this gun because it's getting hit pretty hard. Save your, if you have an old Mini 14, get one of these. Save your receiver. If you have a new one, save wear and tear on your receiver. Get one of these. And there are two or three companies that make them. You decide which particular version you want. But I am not a big fan of aftermarket buffers. There's probably only two or three guns that I think it's required. In this case, after seeing playing with this gun and shooting it and taking it apart and looking at the scratches and stuff, I think this is almost a mandatory thing for a Mini 14 or a Mini 30. It's just a short little one that no shooting, no nothing. I just want to help people out. I just got my first Mini 14 here a couple weeks ago, and that's something I learned in two weeks. Thanks for coming to the channel. Hit like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.